Now, Coolbot is one of my favorite apps. And I just want to let you know, there are some cool new features. So stick around to the end because we're going to be covering all the new features that Quillbot has just recently released. So today's video is about the best new features on Quillbot. All right, before we go ahead and do this, we'll let you know, here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash that like button as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. All right, guys, let's go check it out. Now, here we are in the premium section of Coolbot. Now, a lot of the things that I'm going to be showing you today is in the premium section of Coolbot. And for you to be able to get hold of that, you can actually check out the link down below. Now. Let's have a quick look. Obviously, we have the paraphraser, which is the one that I have been speaking about the very most of when it comes to creating your digital products. Now, obviously, all you have to do is just hit that. And you've seen me do this heaps of times if you've been a member of my site for any length of time. So I don't need to go into that right now. It's very basic. It's very easy to see that it does a wonderful job. Now, let's go and have a look at some of the things it can also do. Now, if you want to, we can also have a look at the power of the plagiarism checker. Now, bear with me one second while I do one little thing. I'm just going to pause the video while I do this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this into the notepad right here so as it remains here. All right. Now, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go a few lines down and I'm going to copy this text from here. Okay, and we just copy that. We're going to be adding that one to the notepad as well, just down below it. And we're going to be checking these in the plagiarism checker. So let's go and have a quick look at that. So over here, when you look at this, you've got plagiarism checker. We're going to copy that. Now I'm going to put the one that I've just done from Quillbot straight into here. We're going to go Control V. And this is the one that's just been done. Isn't the cliche of the hungry artist well known? So, what's this? It could soon be a thing of the past for you. The internet has provided artists with new opportunities. You now have a place to share your artistic endeavors with the rest of the world. Take a look at it. Okay, so let's go scan and have a look and see whether or not this has any plagiarism issues at all. Okay, now the scan has completed. Let's go and have a view of the report. Let's have a look. Seven results. It could ver it could soon be a thing of the past for you. Take a look at it. Now that's not a lot for you to change that up. It would be a very very simple matter, and that is essentially a brand new article. Even though I only just put a little tiny bit in there, it can be seen that it has got a little bit. It needs to be changed, but you can easily change that. It would only take you a few seconds, and that is the plagiarism checker. It's really good. It tells you the identical words. It tells you minor changes that can be made and omitted words. So as you can see, there are 15 similar words, seven results found. And these are the various places that have got similar results. So you can change it up. So is there in none at all? Okay. Another thing you can do is go over here to where it says co-worker. Now I'm just going to copy this one. This one over here is called Coworker, and you can click on that. And if you're deciding to work with somebody else, everyone knows about the stereotype, and we can click on that. And this is where you can do things like notebook. You can have citations, any citations you might have. You can have analytics, and you can also go paraphrase, and you can also have summarizers. So if you have a look at this, you got it's grade seven English, it's positive, and it's got eight sentences, eight sentences, five paragraphs, etc. Now you can have this and you can be working on a project with a co-worker, which means you can actually go with each other and work on it together. You also have your paraphraser and your summarizer. Let's go and have a quick look at what else is here. Now over here you have your summarizer. Let's click on there and we just go control V. And let's now summarize what we have here. It'll grab something from here and it'll then turn it into what it'll find the most 
of his singer to turn it into it. So the internet has opened up new opportunities for artists. Now you have a platform to share your creative efforts with the rest of the world. So as you can see, that has summarized that through those two sentences. So let's have a look over here. You now have citation generator. So let's go over here. Now over there, I'm going to grab an article from this particular one and copy this particular blog post. And we're going to go back over here and we're going to place the URL right in there. Now you can have it as a website or you can have it as a book. But in this particular case, we're going to have it as that one. So we're now going to hit site. We're going to wait for a moment. Okay, so what we're going to need to do is go back over here and we're going to scroll through until we find the artist. So the person's name is called Brian Clark. So we're now going to just go back over here and click on here. And we're just going to put in Brian Clark. Tap over a couple of times. And there we have it. Now we can now hit save the citation. And that will be saved as a university one. Now, so this is the Harvard University one. When I went to college, we had to use the Harvard version of the citation. So if we had something like this when I was at college, this would have made life a lot easier. We had to either do Harvard or Oxford, depending on who was taking the lecture. So you have a whole bunch of different citations you can choose from. As I said, this one's a Harvard. You can also go down here to Oxford if you wish to, which is the one I used to do. And you have a whole bunch of different types of citations depending on the university you are going to. So let's continue on. Now this is the basics of Quillbot Premium. Now somebody recently pointed out to me that the price has gone up and they are absolutely correct it has gone up. Now, but I would put it down to the fact that they have added so much more to it. For example, the plagiarism checker, the co-worker, and the citation generator is what would have caused the price of this to go up. Now, you have to understand that some of these have to be renewed every month. So, for example, 20 pages a month is what you get with the uh, plagiarism checker. At the moment, we currently have 17 pages available. As it, next month, it will then go across and we'll have another 20 pages. But... Right now we only have 17 because I've used up three in the process of practicing this. We also have the co-worker and all of these things are what we're paying for when we pay the higher price. So let's go back here to the pricing. Now let's have a quick look at the pricing. The pricing has gone up but it's still worth it in the end. It's currently at $8.33 a month which is, if you pay annually, is $99.95. Then we have the semi-annual, which is every six months, which comes to $79.95, which I don't think is very good value myself. I think it's way too expensive. And then you have your $19.95 a month if you can't afford the full $99.95 in one lump sum. So in which case you just pay on a monthly basis and it may make it a little bit easier for you as time goes on. Now with the free version, you only get 125 words on a paraphraser and you also have standard and fluency mod modes, three synonym options. You got one freeze word or phrase and 1200 words on the summarizer. Whereas here you get unlimited words on the page for paraphraser. It used to only be 10,000 characters. Now it's unlimited. That's another big thing for this one is it's now unlimited. You can put an entire book into the paraphraser and you'll be able to paraphrase the entire book. No longer is it limited to only 10,000 characters. You also have standard, fluence, formal, simple, creative, expand and shorten modes. You also have four synonym options, also unlimited freeze words and, and phrases, 6,000 words on the summarizer, fast processing speed, advanced grammar re rewrite, compare modes only on desktop, and plagiarism checker. And all of these for only $99.95 a year. So do check it out. As I said, I'll leave a link in the description down below. I love Quillbot. I use it all the time when I'm creating my products, and it makes it life so, so much easier because the way it writes it, it's, it's so good. All right, guys, if you like this video, 
please consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Hey, while you're at it, why not consider sharing and also leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this video. Now, over here is a video I believe you might like. Down here is a video YouTube thinks you might like. And over here is an icon of my head. And if you click on that, you'll be able to subscribe. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And bye for now.